Hi, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Faster Way Coach Confessionals. Mm -hmm. Lee Bergen, are you ready to confess? (laughs) Unfortunately, yes. (laughs) It's an open book. Oh, my God. We have so many things to discuss. This is our catch-up time. It is. We are going to talk about Fit Wars. People are submitting or have submitted their Fit Wars times. We're probably still kind of asking finalists to share their videos so we can check form. So we're going to talk about Fit Wars. We are going to talk a little bit about a new product that we are launching at the Faster Way to Fat Loss. And then we are also going to share a few tidbits about our Workforce Women's Round of the Faster Way, Mm -hmm. which starts Today, today. Yep. recently we did a day in the life video. And so I just kind of want to reflect on the filming of that day. Yeah. And we'll kind of discuss a few highlights. Um, so Fit Wars, tell me about Fit Wars. Are uh, you feeling stronger? How did it go? Yes. You know, I was resistant, right? I, I was like, I just was resistant because, you know, a little fear of failure. Mm-hmm. I've done it in the past. Something, you know. It's like, like Forrest Gump, like I used to run or I used to do those things. And so um, I had a little piece of humble pie when I did it with the team, because I know you guys all did it with me and Haven and Heather. And I was just very pleasantly surprised that I didn't, it didn't hurt. It was beautiful. It was so beautiful that when I went on vacation, which I don't exercise on vacation because I exercise kind of for a living. So I intentionally never exercise. And if I do exercise, I always bring clothes that I can just leave because they get sweaty. I'm like, I'm not bringing them I'm not terrible. Oh my gosh. So I was on vacation. I went to a hotel gym, which was laughable because it was a lodge. And evidently that was the bathroom that the entire cleaning staff liked to use. So me and the cleaning staff using the bathroom. Anyway, it had a whiteboard in it. And I was like, well, that's God saying, hey, girl, fit wore this out. Funny. So I did it. And I I just had a a great time doing it. And now it's just a, it's a, I I did, I was faster. And so I'm going to continue just to improve upon that. I I videotaped the whole thing Mm -hmm. and I saw problems in my form. Yep. And this is my J-O-B. And I was like, okay, I know where to improve and I'm, I'm pumped about it. I'm not going to let this go. What move specifically did you- It's a push-up. I've, I have, and, and I'm really good at push-ups in sets of 10. Yeah. But I think it's, I just was in balance and I don't do, I hate working my chest, Amanda. Mm. I hate doing chest. I hate it. So it just reminded me that I got to do some, some balancing acts yeah. here. And so I'm inspired by myself. That's so funny because <laughs> I too videoed myself yeah. and saw my form yeah. and the worst form by far was the push. Isn't that crazy? I know. Yeah. I used to be so proud of them. I know. Yeah. I used to be able to do 80 pushups in a row. I hosted my 20 year high school reunion and one of my teachers who was literally the history teacher when I was a student and now he's still there and he came to my reunion. He goes, are you still able to beat anyone in a push-up contest? (laughs) He said it to me at my 20 year high school reunion a few weeks ago. And I was like, I don't know. I got to work on my form, but I'm working something to work on. Yeah. I love that. So How many times have you done it though? Probably five. It's so funny. I'm going to do it again today. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. It feels good. Great I mean, workout. It, it, it feels really good. A lot of people are like, oh my gosh, you know, is it too much hit? No, it's it's not. It's just getting it done. Because really our push-ups even hit. Right. I mean, let's be, right. our sit-ups even hit. Right. We absolutely are strategic mm-hmm. about the science behind workouts mm-hmm. and we don't want to overtrain mm-hmm. our clients. We do do not like our clients to do more than 45 minutes of right. hit per week. Correct. The week of Fit War submissions, I didn't do a cherry on top for progressive hit. So mm-hmm. that was last week. Nice. Because I knew, you know, mm-hmm. there was going to be some jump squats mm-hmm. and some burpees that were taking place outside of that hit workout and the mm-hmm. hit workout you lead on Tuesdays. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to do the workout again on active recovery days right. here and there just to track my progress. Mm-hmm. And maintain that strength. Exactly. And I just, I've said it a hundred times. I'm going to keep saying it. When I'm traveling and I don't have access to mm-hmm. a gym, I'm going to do the Fit Wars workout. Well, right. Now I'm so mad because I did something great on a vacation. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> well, I did the Fit Wars. I was like, I don't work out on vacation. And then once I got that done, I was like, well, why not, Lee? Don't be mad. Exactly. Be happy. Well, now I get, yay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's talk about day in the life. Oh. Filming. So oh. the Workforce Women's Round of the Faster Way yeah. starts today. If yeah. you are not currently in the Faster Way and you are a woman in the workforce, if you are a working Female, we would love to have you. We have a lot of bonuses, mm -hmm. video content. We have some cheat sheets. We have a whole group of women who are busy working moms, busy working females uh, in this particular group. So to promote the Women in Workforce round, we decided to film a day in the life of Amanda Tress. <laughs> CEO of the Faster Way Mama Five. I'm laughing. So the video why. crew, Mike and his crew, got to my house first thing in the morning as I was getting kids ready. It is stressful to have a video camera following you all day. I really, it took me a, a bit to kind of get into the groove of like not trying to act, just trying to live, uh -huh. but at the same time, like always knowing there was yeah. a camera with me and like not wanting to yell at my kids in certain moments and not shout as loud as I normally do, you know, from the upstairs to the downstairs. So it's like, it is interesting, you know, cause I've said so many times like, Oh, Netflix has to do a series on yeah. faster way. Our team, the story, the community, just, uh, it would make such great TV, totally. wholesome TV for sure. But, you know, we deal with a lot of stuff throughout the day. I think what people may notice in the day in the life is I do a lot of work day to day that you wouldn't necessarily think about because I usually am on Instagram stories as I'm driving to the office, mm -hmm. Brandon's driving, I'm, you know, doing Instagram stories or as I'm walking in, then I'll check in kind of a little after lunch, possibly. And then I just reshare some content. So pretty much, you know, you see my face talking like once or twice, mm -hmm. but really there's 13, 14, 15 hours of the day that I am essentially working. Yeah. <laughs> I, I yeah. Just saying that. And they're all different things that you're doing. Yes. I mean, your day in the life looked like a week in the yes. life of some people. Absolutely true. Mm -hmm. So you kind of get a feel for the amount of meetings that I have and the amount of staff that I speak with and the amount of places that I am. And so this, the week that we filmed was, you know, kind of interesting because also, and this is something you don't get to see, but, um, I also sold my house for sale by owner that week. In the middle of it all. In the middle of it all. Yeah. Congratulations. I was like, yeah, you know, I'm going to just be a realtor, use chat GPT and do a little marketing, sell my house, <gasps> cash offer. Wow. Get the house ready for inspection. So I was doing that. So the day of the day in the life, there's just, we, you know, we were doing the hydration launch. I had multiple meetings, trying to sell the house, get the house ready, uh, do the workout, drink all my water, mm -hmm. drink my collagen, drink my creatine, you know, all the things, trying to get those macros in. And then you know, the hardest part of all of it is to give my kids time, mm -hmm. like to spend time with mm -hmm. my kids. That is the heart. I wake up in the morning already guilty. <laughs> you know, us working moms, we wake up yeah. already guilty. Yeah. How can I spend time with my kids? Not only one kid, not just two, not even only three, but all five of them. How yeah. can all five of them get my attention and my focus? And so, you know, a lot of that takes place in the evening. We didn't have the cameras in the evening after our family walk. That's kind of when we were like more, you know, we play a game every night. We take a, a, a lengthy walk. We have bath time. We, you know, that's kind of more of an important time for the kid. We I read a book uh, to the girls. So that is, you know, an important component. But you'll get, you know, you'll get to, you see on that video on social media, just the amount of things. Right. And you might hear a little bit about kind of my frustration that I'm dealing with, mm -hmm. with the timeline of the hydration product. Mm -hmm. And it is toughly, you know, people have a certain perspective about who I am and what it's like to work with and for me. Mm -hmm. But you know, mm -hmm. from working in the office, I have super high expectations. Yeah. I hold everyone to a high standard, including myself. Yep. And we have issues every single day that we have to work through. Mm -hmm. It is not Disney World over here. Right. And it and it can easily seem that way because again, what we portray through social media is always the best part of everything. Mm -hmm. And there are 
99% great things all day long. And if we don't have those bumps and if we don't have those challenges, then we don't ever grow and we don't know where to be, you know, change or make any adjustments. And, and, and nobody wants to share that stuff, Mm -hmm. but for everyone to know that humanity and that this company and that our mission and vision, all of it is authentic and organic and, the challenges are part of what makes us great. I think it's important. But again, people want to look at what we share because it's positive. They don't want to hear anything that's yeah, challenging. That's true. Yeah. You know, the company is run by humans and humans make mistakes. But and you, there is but a thing you, called human error. <laughs> but you've got a very, very high bar. And, mm-hmm. you know, to to work here... I got to come to work every single day with lipstick on. I don't know when that camera is going to be on. (laughs) You know, I don't, I don't know. And, and there's no room to bring your bad day into this office. There's no room to bring those challenges. We have work to do and it is, it's God's work. I mean, we have to get it done. Mm -hmm. And the, the more solid we are and the more, and again, we, we talk about progress over perfection in the faster way, but in our business we we want to strive for perfection as much as possible because we're here to serve you guys you exactly. know yeah. yeah yeah and every single person who works with the faster way team is a working woman so yes. to this point yes and for this round working women's round we work in the office we are working women in the office uh we have some men as well shout out to the men <laughs> the faster way fellas uh, but we have to fit in the workouts we have to fit mm-hmm. in the macros we have to prioritize mm-hmm. the water so let's just talk about a couple of our tips Yep. Um, yep. You know, you, you kind of share your perspective. I'll share mine. I got, you know, the little kids at the house. Mm-hmm. So day in the life of Lee Bergen yeah. as a working female, yeah. when are you working out? Are you meal yeah. prepping? How are you fitting yeah. in the macros? Yeah. So, you know, my working life has varied from a classroom teacher in which there's time where you cannot, you can't go to the bathroom and leave your kids. You want to hear an embarrassing story? Sure. One time when I was teaching, I had four minutes between passing periods. This is in New Jersey, Mm -hmm. four minutes. This is going to be so embarrassing. And so we had a teacher's little bathroom and I ran as fast as I could. And I was in this cute wool skirt with tights because it's 1995. And I ran into the bathroom and I pulled my skirt up and I sat down to go to the bathroom, but I did not take my pantyhose off. I got four minutes. I got to be back in class with my 17-year-old kids, right? So I ran back commando for the rest of the day in New Jersey. Anyway, so meal prep was challenging. So that was then. (laughs) But that was hard. I was in the worst shape ever when I taught because I didn't understand the value of fasting and how to get Mm -hmm. food in. Fast forward. Mm -hmm. Then I owned two gyms that opened at five and closed at 11, Mm -hmm. two at the same time. And I was a single mom and I had two, I had a five and six year old. How I I don't remember any of it. Yeah. But that's when I got into the best shape of my life mm-hmm. because I prioritized food and lifting. Mm-hmm. Fast mm-hmm. forward here, when I got this job, my former husband said, man, Faster Way doesn't know what they're going to get because no one can work as hard as you. Mm. Baloney sandwich. <laughs> okay. I mean, he was like, no one's going to work. Mm. And so now what I do, meal prep to me is a word that sounds daunting. It's not daunting. Day in the life. I wake up. I have quiet time, 45 minutes. I go to the gym or I work out at home and it's not it's not a hard workout. It's what am I weak on? Mm-hmm. So I might go and do like a bench press or something that I don't have at home. Yeah. I just work on a move. Yeah. Then I walk my dog and I don't talk on the Instagram anymore. I used to every morning, but I have my time with my dog and God. Yeah. Dog and God are the same letters. That's true. And so then I come home, I get dressed, I get here and the day gets rolling right between 830 and nine. And we just power. I get home. Power through. I have my dinner ready. I've got time with my kid and I'm asleep at 830. Yeah. And you're working out here. Yeah. You're when leading I, yes. workouts. And I, yeah. so I plan it strategically. On the days that I'm training here, I do not go to the gym. Got on it. the days that I'm not, I work on that form. Okay. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I have a different schedule. When I'm in Costa Rica, which is, you know, a lot of the time, it is different than what I'm going to describe now. But wake up get the kids ready, get myself out the door at the office. I'm usually on a leadership call by 8 45 mm-hmm. and then I'm at the office 
I break my fast around noon. I mean, I just get rolling. Like yeah. today I forgot to bring food. I'm like texting Brandon, like, can you send me food? I'm looking mm-hmm. at offices. We're doing an office tour. I got, you know, meetings and all kinds of different things up, you know, the wazoo. So I forgot to bring food. He sent me food, which is great. He knows I need fresh food with a lot of protein. Um, <laughs> But then later today, I have an appointment at two. I'm going to work out after that. Yeah. You always work out in the afternoon. Like since I've known you, it's when been about I'm a here, three-ish yeah, thing. When yeah. I have all the kids, it's just so much mm-hmm. to try to work out in the morning yeah. with having Not, to also get no. the kids out the door. And so in Costa Rica, I do work out in the morning. But that's just a different schedule. And here, yeah, it's the afternoon. It gives me energy for the second half of the day. Yeah. It's tough, though, because everything and anything is coming up and trying to pull, you know, my attention. So I just I have to be so committed to that, just like brushing my teeth. I'm not going to go through the day without brushing my teeth. I'm not going to go through the day without. And that's why it's so great that our workouts are literally 30 minutes. Exactly. So I shared on a post a couple of weeks ago that my five year anniversary was here and how much I balked at everything that the faster way did. I was like, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Sure. 30 minute workouts for me to be here for five years and to be in this kind of shape. Mm -hmm. This is this is what I do. I just got goosebumps thinking about it. I mean, I don't know why it's so shocking every single time. It doesn't have to be more. Now it's about how little can I work out and keep what I have. Yep. And so these 30 minutes are so Mm -hmm, mm jam-packed. There's just no excuse. Yeah. There's just not. Yeah. And just tune it out for 30 minutes. You can literally go, you know, hide for 30 minutes. Truly. Mm -hmm. The nutrition part is tough. You know, Mm -hmm. I forgot my food today. I Mm -hmm. do have food prepped at the house. Mm -hmm. You know, if I remember to bring it, then that's even better. But I end up getting home and having to catch up. Right. Catching up on my protein. I'm usually doing a protein shake. I'm catching up in the evening. Mm -hmm. So that is a bit of a pain point. But that's the beauty of intermittent fasting is I'm getting actually health benefits in the morning (laughs) <laughs> you know, from not eating. Right. Like, I don't, I don't right. have time it's, to eat. What would I possibly <laughs> eat? There's no time. Right. And it just, and, and again, it's going to vary from person to person. And, and maybe we've talked about this, but now that I have this kind of lifestyle in which I don't have kids, I don't have this big family waiting for me. I, and I, if I know it's going to be a busy day, now every single day you walk in the office on the phone, every single day you are on that meeting, yep. walking on the phone. And if I know what my schedule's like, I will have to shift my window so that I'm done eating mm-hmm. at four mm-hmm. so that I don't have to worry about it. Because if I get behind, I got to eat three times as I'm three times your size. Yeah. <laughs> I got to get a lot of food in. Yeah. So I'll shift it to the morning. So I think oh, the flexibility smart. of the faster way yeah. allows me to, okay, I'll eat after yeah. I work out and then I'll be done by the time I leave here. Then I'll And worry a about lot it. of people do shift their feeding mm-hmm. window. It's something mm-hmm. we probably don't talk about enough. Mm-hmm. Some women and men, they feel better eating in the morning or it's mm-hmm. what works best with their schedule. So don't allow allow anything that you've seen or heard to negatively impact your willingness to also be flexible with your lifestyle. So we want you to get to the point where you can implement intermittent fasting, but not at the detriment of your lifestyle or to the extent that you say, oh, I can't do intermittent fasting, so I'm going to throw in the towel. Mm -mm. I prefer just because of my lifestyle and my schedule to break my fast at 11 or noon, and then I have the opportunity and ability to catch up and hit those protein macro minimums or in general macro minimums. But I used to be like that. And that's the thing too. Again, in five years, five years ago, that's what I did and that worked well. Mm -hmm, But my mm -hmm. life has changed now. Mm -hmm, And I think mm -hmm. that 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 just hammers home one more time Mm -hmm. the benefit of every single thing that we do. Mm -hmm. It evolves with my evolution. Mm -hmm, And so that's mm -hmm. that's awesome. Yeah. I like how we have two much different perspectives Mm -hmm. and different life styles because mm-hmm. it's nice for people to hear. Mm-hmm. And maybe you are a night shift worker. Maybe it's right. fill in the blank. Right. Or maybe you just feel better if you eat in the morning. Mm-hmm. I am not hungry in the morning. Right. I'm just not. I want to stay energized and focused right. and I have my black coffee and my water and that's it. And that's my big. But um, yeah, I mean, I think it's really important for everyone listening to m- realize that bio-individuality is key. And then also the fact that 
every person has a different lifestyle and schedule and a number of children right. and career and all of that. So, Well, and I'll tell you, too, the other thing that makes it really easy when people, they get overwhelmed or paralyzed by information or choices, just lean into our meal guide. Mm. Like that is, that is the choice eliminator. Like if I'm struggling, what am I supposed to be doing or thinking about? And, you know, people are like, how do I have time to track? Well, you don't have to track if you just eat the food in the meal guide. Mm -hmm. You don't, you don't have Mm -hmm. to track it. Yeah. You know, Mm -hmm. I buy in Mm -hmm. bulk too. So Mm. I'll buy 16 ounces of salmon, 16 ounces of ground turkey, 16 ounces of, of red meat, 16 ounces of five different kinds of meats. And then, um, a dozen eggs. I have until Friday to eat it. So if I ate it all by Wednesday, I'm overeating. If by Friday I've got something left over, I didn't reach my goals. Mm -hmm. So I do that in a five-day window. It's already pre, go to the butcher, hey, like 16 ounces of this. That's, I don't have to track as much Super smart. Right. Super smart. Mm -hmm. I love it. Okay. We discussed (laughs) Fit Wars. We talked about Day in the Life, Working Women's Round, leverage our bonuses, leverage our free trainings. If you're in that round, if you're a VIP, we'll give you access as well. And on the first. Ooh, yes. Okay. We have a new (laughs) product launching at the faster way. Mm -hmm. I'm so jazzed about this Lee, Mm -hmm. because we are very clear on the pain points our clients experience and we're consistently looking for ways to solve problems and really resolve those pain points. And and one of the big pain points that we've seen over the years is energy, is hormone balance. And one thing that I've uh, suggested is that people add electrolytes to Mm -hmm. their water, add salt Mm -hmm. in particular. When we transition to a whole food diet or a non-processed food diet, many times we actually can be deficient in salt and sodium, which is like very counterintuitive. You you hear, oh, I shouldn't have salt because it's going to raise my blood pressure, blah, blah, blah. No, our body, your body Mm -hmm. needs salt. Mm -hmm. So I've recommended over the years a couple of different salt or electrolyte products. I've even had certain people on the podcast here and there. But when I'm looking at the ingredients, I'm like, man, this is like not the type of salt I necessarily mm-hmm. want to be consuming in high volumes. Mm-hmm. And so um, over time, I developed a relationship with a gentleman who is very well respected in our industry, started a supplement brand that many of you have heard of and ended up selling the company. And I, I reached out to him. I'm like, hey, would you be willing to work with me on formulating an electrolyte product for for my community that would be best in class. Yeah. Like I said, I'm only willing to do it if it can be the very best. Mm-hmm. And he said, you're speaking my language. I only do best. So we got together, got some ingredients on a list, must haves, Celtic sea salt mm. instead of table salt. Yep. Uh, B12. Yes. Magnesium, potassium, apple cider vinegar, probiotics, and we just decided to put every best ingredient into a product, our new hydration product for the faster way. Ah, Yay! Launching soon. (laughs) I'm so pumped. It's going to be a massive launch. Well, when we announce the winners for the Fit Wars, Mm -hmm. people can tune in and hear a little bit more about it too. We're announcing the winners Mm -hmm. on August 1st. Mm -hmm. You will find out who Mm -hmm. received the Mm $5,000 grand prize Mm -hmm. on August 1st. And then we're going to share more details yeah. and science about, about this hydration, hydration product because we want you to understand the why behind the what. Don't just yep. blindly follow our advice and buy every product we put out. You need to understand why, who, what, when, where to have this product and potentially invest in this product. We want you to live your very best life, your most energized, healthiest, most balanced life. We believe this product is going to help you get there, but we want you to understand the science first. Absolutely. And we're here to be solution oriented. Mm -hmm, That's mm -hmm. what we're here. Solve problems. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much for listening to another episode of Coach Confessionals. And we cannot wait to see you on August 1st when we announce the Fit Wars winners. Bye, everyone.